Hey everybody, Luke from Dimco Productions here again with another tutorial on the Adobe Master Collection. This time with Adobe Premiere Pro CS3, I'll be teaching you how to do a green screen, a blue screen, or a color keying effect. In this particular tutorial, I'll be more focusing on blue screen because that's what I have. In order to do blue screen or green screen or color keying, you need two files. You need a file with a backdrop. In this case, I'm doing blue screen. So as you can see, I have a blue backdrop here, and I'm wearing orange. It's the furthest color I could think of from blue, and you'll see how easier that makes it down the line. And you'll also need your background, which in this case, I just took the Criminal Minds theme off YouTube. To get started, what you want to do is you want to take your background, which in my case is my Criminal Minds theme, and drag it down video one and audio one. It'll occupy that space. Now this is important. If you took your video off YouTube, and only if you took your video off YouTube, you'll notice that the video is much smaller than the frame up here. In order to get it full screen, right click on your video one file here and select scale to frame size and that will make it bigger and that's only if you took your video off YouTube. The next thing you want to do is you want to drag your blue screen or green screen or color keyed footage down into video two so it overlaps video one. It's in front of it and you can no longer see video one but as you see video one is still there. Now, now what you want to do is go to your left here into your effects palette. There should be one, two, three, four, five folders. Presets, audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, and video transitions. Today we'll be working with video effects, so if you want to open that folder up, go right ahead. Go down to the keying folder, which is right here, it's labeled keying. And if you have any other color than uh, blue screen, say green or black or whatnot, select color key and drag it on to the video 2 and then that will open up an effect palette here and you'll be able to select which color you want to get rid of you'll be able to select the tolerance how much you want to get rid of and that really helps and that's if you don't have blue if you have blue they make it much easier and there's actually an option for blue screen what you want to do is you want to click on the blue screen key drag it over to video 2 and release drop it on as you see up here you can no longer see the blue screen in the background all you can see is me and the criminal minds theme now to jazz it up a bit we can come up here right above your uh, right up on top here this will open up the effect controls for the blue screen so as you can see here you have video effects and audio effects for the blue screen go down to the option that says blue screen key right here and open that up You'll see here it gives you threshold percentages, cutoff percentages. I'm just going to raise the cutoff just a tad so that I am no longer, I was kind of see-through there. So now my opacity is 100% and you can no longer see through me. So now if you play it, the Criminal Minds theme will play in the background and you can see me moving. Congratulations, you've just completed your first ever blue screen effect. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for upcoming tutorials, please let me know, and I'll make sure that I get them out to you. 